Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Origins mod, which is being made by a lovely little team of modders within the community, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a several new planets and a fair few moons into the stock solar system. And these aren't just any old random planets, no, they're actually based off of different planet ideas squad had over the years but never implemented into the game and I think that's pretty cool so let's jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we get and let's uh, zoom out and start over at the Sun as per usual with things in the stock system and start tabbing where of course we have our usual moho usual Eve but Eve now has an extra moon and that moon goes by the name of Faz and it's just a interesting looking purple rock apparently a captured asteroid it is 40 kilometers in size with no atmosphere to speak of but overall a lovely little moon kind of smooth not exactly the most rugged of terrains or difficult to land on but a nice little addition to the orbit around Eve now if we continue tabbing on the next new planet we have is harvest which apparently was formed according to the lore in this when something smashed into Kerbin and yeah, it's just a nice brown planet with the various canyons in it that are quite cool and do add a little bit of extra difficulty to go and explore. All in all, just a fun planet, no atmosphere to speak of, and pretty large at 150 kilometers. Now, uh, the next one we have, of course, is not Duna, Ike, or Drez, but uh, Riga here, which is my second favorite planet in this. Which you can probably tell is because of the ring. I love rings. It's actually a pretty small little thing at only 40 kilometers in size. No atmosphere, but it does have just this gloriously beautiful massive ring around it which I just love and also the terrain of the planet itself is actually pretty cool lots of little rugged areas around the place I do quite enjoy it now uh, next we have of course the usual jewel let's quickly skip through that and make our way to my favorite planet Sarvin once more because it's a ring, but also because it's a gas giant, and gas giants are cool as well. But not only that, but it does have a lovely selection of moons. Now, Sarvin is, of course, well, a really big gas giant at 5,600 kilometers in size, with, of course, an atmosphere, but one you really wouldn't want to go and explore. And, of course, a beautiful ring. And the first of its moons is a Daffy here, which is very small at 12 kilometers in size and does actually have a really, really thin atmosphere. I don't know how it holds it, but hey, there it goes. And overall, just a nice little, um, I believe, ball of ice. Hold on, let me go look at this real quick. Eh, it doesn't say ball of ice, but it looks like a ball of ice, so I'm going to go with that. And the next one is Potatus. I think the uh, planet I find the most humorous because of its name. It is 120 kilometers in size and no atmosphere, but it's, um... Well, it's a giant potato in space, and how could you not love that? And actually, I think it kind of looks cool. Lots of fun craters on it, the uh, fun, interesting ov oval design to it. Very, very fun indeed. Now, the next moon here is Fonzo, and this one does have a pretty decent atmosphere to it. The planet itself is 260 kilometers in size, and apparently, according to the information here, has some of the highest peaks in the solar system, some of which actually poke through the atmosphere. So that is pretty cool. And all in all, just looks like a very interesting planet. It's quite cool there, and you can see, uh, as the atmosphere sort of tapers off to all this stuff and that really, really big mountain right there. Very cool indeed. A very interesting planet. Probably my third favorite. I mean, rings always win it out for me. But yes, a very cool planet right here. Or a well moon, actually. Then, of course, we have Elu and uh, now Shale, a very beautiful green world with all sorts of blobs all over the thing. I do very much like this thing, as it's not purely spherical. It is 100 kilometers in size, though, with a no atmosphere. And all in all, just pretty nice looking. It reminds me of something, but for the life of me, I can't down what exactly it reminds me of and that's gonna bother me 
Now, next we have Keelon, which is a, another a lovely planet here with a few moons of its own. It is 800 kilometers in size with an atmosphere, which uh, is nice and hazy. Uh, very cool indeed. Now, uh, also the topography on it. Pretty awesome. I haven't landed on this one yet, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like it would be an interesting challenge in certain areas. Now, of course, one of its moons, which would also be interesting to land on, is Manai, which has, well, lava. Lava all over the place. And it's 150 kilometers in size. It does have an atmosphere and is quite beautiful in color. Uh, I don't suggest landing in there, though. That might be bad. Then next we have Erebus, at 200 kilometers in size with no atmosphere, a very beautiful icy world with, uh, yeah, I like the white and the blue contrasting there. Well, not really contrasting, but a fun little difference between the two. After that, we have Coralette, which is actually supposed to have a tail. This is supposed to be a comet in the solar system. Uh, but sadly, the um, I couldn't get to the recommended mod to function that's supposed to give it its tail. Uh, it, so that's, that's sad. But yes, this is meant to be a comet six kilometers in size, trailing uh, through the solar system, which if we do actually zoom out to the entire place, it it does have a very fun orbit dipping right through into the solar system and then back out again. Very interesting. And with its small size would be quite a fun and difficult one to try and land on. Again, six kilometers. But yes, uh, that is all of the lovely new planets and moons added in by Kerbal Origins. So let's go to my Viewmatic Survey satellite that I have around my favorite planet of Sarvan because, oh my god, I mean, look at that view it's beautiful but yes that is really it for this episode it's just a fun pack of planets to add into the game based off of planets that could have been in the game originally but were scrapped for various reasons and so if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself which i would certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that is going to be it for this episode my friends i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one